nice grappler, you fucking coward. Nice, you take my wall. Oh my god, this kid's legitimately fucking aimbotting. Like, he can't even see me in these fucking easy shots. The grappler is so cringy, bro. It's literally the cringiest gun in the entire existence. I don't give a fuck what anybody says. That shit should not be in competitive or arena. It's absolutely just the dumbest fucking thing of all time. That's the dumbest fucking thing they've ever added to this season. This chapter, bro. Literally the dumbest fucking thing. They need to vault all the mythic items in competitive. Period. Or just not have competitive playlists at all. He was controller. Obviously, dude. The kid fucking sprayed through builds and hit me like the builds didn't even fucking break. Bro, how do you how do you how do you turn that into body shaming? How how does that transition into body shaming? There's bandies here. She's pulling she's pulling the okay. She's pulling the victim. True baby thanks for the sub. Bro, and if you, you guys all fall for it, I know you guys don't, but I when I say you guys, you know who I mean. There's no yeah, okay. That's the, that's the most fucking selfish fucking reply I've ever heard. She's saying she's body shaming by saying that there's other people that are better looking. So she, that, she's the epitome? That's the number one hot, okay, my bad. I forgot you were not, not allowed to. Get in the back, get in the far back. Bro, my bullets are blanking, man. A lot of mine are too. Another powder, pink chick. Bro, I'm blanking, man. I I'm just blanking, bro. Valorant's like a more casual CSGO. Like if you want to die to fucking airstrikes, go play fucking Valorant. If you want to fucking actually play a game that takes fucking true skill, then go play CSGO. What? I mean, the game's good. I think it'll do well. I just, uh, I don't see it being bigger competitive wise than like CS, you know what I'm saying? What? You should be dying to fucking missiles and grenades and shit. Oh, yeah. like, let's go, let's go chat. Fucking hit by a bow through a fucking wall. GG We're pussy. Wrong. Like, ha. <laughs> nice feel smooth though. And the aiming here, and I'm yeah. modern. You have one person. Am I gonna send an apology to Addison? No, I don't think I owe an apology. Um, Brady Z. I'm not. I didn't insult her. <laughs> like what? I don't think you guys understand. Oh my god! A henchman pulled out a gun on me, and I thought it was a person. I was so confused. Well, I didn't insult her Wait, body or, or looks. You can you can take the words however oh way you want to do them and Got a heavy mix it however you want to do it. like sure like what happened to playing squads in the morning with the boys with courage with Tim with Ninja Lupo you know Nick Merckx when he got on early like like people were, pe people were excited to watch like like the content creators get on and squad up and try out the new content like oh we're gonna go check out you know the shockwave nades or the or the impulse nades this week oh my god lupo impulse ninja off the mountain lol in the chat you know we're not doing that anymore because do you do you notice that every time in the past six months where we've played squads with the boys every time it devolves into us just like like, oh my god, we're just getting stream sniped by sweaty players. Like, because because it, it, it's skill-based matchmaking, right? So it's like, there's a smaller pool of people to play with. Haters gonna hate. I mean, I'm not even hating. She's um, I'm not hating on her. She's selling garbage to 
children and they're eating it up with a big old spoon. Good for her. She's making money off it. But it's it, I don't like the example it sets for little girls. I don't like these little kids looking up to that. I just don't like it. Mm. Under the impression. Under in between. Lonely two. It's skill-based matchmaking, right? So it's like there's a smaller pool of people to play with, which means it's easier to get stream sniped. And then not just that, the people who 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 stream snipe you have to be decent at the game to even be in your lobby. So we're you're getting stream sniped easier by better players. Every time I've played with Ninja or or Courage or Tim or Lupo or Nick, just like casual squad games or duos, it just it event very quickly turns into just a stream snipe fest where the the fun of the game just gets thrown off, right? And you spend most of the lobby trying to find people because everybody's dead in the first ten minutes, right? So the games themselves don't feel satisfying to play out. The games themselves are kind of just like. They're kind of a drag. If you land somewhere, you land at the agency. You have to land at the agency because if you don't, you're not going to find anybody else. You kill five to ten people at the agency. And then there's ten people left in the game. And the whole map is a big-ass map. 20% bigger than the old map with very minimal mobility compared to the old map. So so that's like the content side of things are just... Woo! They're ruined. They are ruined on all fronts. Random duos... Squads with the boys, checking out new content, just ruined, right? Then on the other side, on the other side of the spectrum, on the other, on the competitive side, there's very little communication, right? There's very little communication between the competitive team and the competitive players. Well, Matt, please, you, you think you're a casual. Valorant is fun, man. It's a fun game for sure. The only the problem I have with it is it's too repetitive. It's not fun to watch. And I feel like the abilities are kind of like not balanced. It was kind of like how fucking Overwatch was at the start, though. Like some characters just had some fucking d dumb shit, and some characters combo together are just fucking stupid. You know what I'm saying? It's good. It'll be a good game, but I feel like they're definitely got to improve, improve some shit. Oh, we better have a pad, bro. Or else we gotta back out, pretty much. Come on, I think so. Bro, what the fuck? Look at me. Yo, what the fuck? This dude really teleporting at you now. Dude, what the fuck was that? That was fucking crazy. First you're guy over <laughs> It's actually a pretty funny trick. It only lasted 30 seconds. It's still worth sharing though, chat. Like these type of things, like you never know. You never know, you know what I'm saying? Never know when you might need them. All right, Jack. Jack, I need you just to stand. Did they need to nerf aim assist? Close quarter tracking is too broken. The long range shit I didn't even mind, bro. Getting one burst by a linear player, I didn't even. It's like, it's just like getting heavy snipe. You know what I'm saying? It's like whatever. But like kids like being able to fucking flawlessly track you through fucking a broken staircase in a box is kind of silly. My fucking god, what the fuck? The fuck was that? Okay, on me. You just passed right over. What? I just died to a bug, bro. How did I just die? This game fucking sucks, cock. <laughs> Guys, the reason I don't play FNCS, there's a lot of reasons. Number one reason, I did not practice with a duo before FNCS started. So I have no practice with a duo, and we're probably not gonna perform well if I just 
go with the duo right off the bat. Number two, I have 50 to 60 ping in game. I live in South Florida, so my ping is really bad. I get wall replaced first time almost every time against players like Dubs, Booga, anybody with zero ping. Third reason, I want to grow my stream and my brand. I get a lot of viewers doing FNCS viewing parties, so it's better for me to stream instead of playing FNCS. And number four, All right, those are the three reasons that's it those are the reasons i don't play fncs i did not quit competitive i i'm still a comp player i'm signed to tsm as a competitive fortnite player but i'm also a streamer okay there you go those are the reasons somebody clip that right now please and trim it